Oh, my pretties, I'm standing in a very happy place right now. I'm in San Francisco at the San Francisco show of Hamilton on the set. And I love this show. I've talked about it endlessly. I love theater because that's where I got my start. And to be honest, it's the first art form that will survive an apocalypse totally intact. But the old prop master in me has watched Hamilton the multiple times I've seen it and just noticed the sheer volume of hand props and stuff that move across the stage and disappear quickly. So we are going to talk to this show's prop master, Mike Eichmeyer, about what his job is like, what he has to repair, and just how much abuse actors can dish out to the hand props. Mike, you are the prop master here. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I am the head props of Hamilton, San Francisco. And because this show is being done all over the world, your job is totally easy, right? Everything was just ordered from New York and delivered and it all works, right? Yes. It, okay, good. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> Not always it works out that way, but yes. And then over the course of running the show, we break things. Well, having seen the show a few times, I'm astounded by the density of objects that move across the stage. Even though it's a very open frame stage, like you have to manage a lot of physical objects during the night. Yes, we do. Can, it, can we talk about this right here? This, this one here? This is a great place to start. This is one of our candle carts. Okay, this is for which scene? This is for uh, helpless and satisfied. Right, right, right. I, this is my favorite thing I noticed this morning, which is the fake glass of champagne. And, and the epoxy and the glitter. Dude, this, so this is super cool. I love this kind of thing, right? Because you've got the glitter in there, which makes it look like champagne hey. bubbles to the audience. Yep. And the actors, and I didn't realize this, you've got... They're all magnetic, so... So, so that it, someone can pick up a tray and it doesn't fall? Yes, they ride out on the cart, and so that way, and the tray is actually magnetic to the cart, too. Oh, that, that is really neat. And also one of the other things, if you notice, yeah. is they're not all the same. Oh! Do different actors grab different ones depending no, on where just, they are? It's just that they're not just perfectly that they're not even. perfectly all the same. So it looks like everybody has a different glass of champagne. That is lovely. And then these light up uh, thanks these? to the electrics department. Yep. And this yep. is a type of fake candle. I have some of these in my house. They look remarkably oh, realistic. they look wonderful. So none of the flame on stage is real. Real. The uh, only time we have flame on stage is during the song Burn. When she, she burns the letter. She actually burns a letter then, on And stage. is that like... That's a thing to set a fire on a stage, right? It is. Like there's always. And uh, we have an op we have a candle. Yeah. We, we use a beeswax candle. And uh, one of the other things is about the paper that they use for. The, for setting the letter the on fire. The actual yeah. burn letter. When they designed that, they actually sat in a shop a whole day with all kinds of different papers. And burning them to see. And burning them to see to get the right amount of time. So they actually spent a whole day burning all kinds of different pieces of paper that to makes, find the right one. That makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of research I love. Yeah. Um, and speaking of paper, there's a lot of paper in the show. There's there like is the, the a Reynolds pamphlet gets thrown all over the place. Where, yes. where do there's you, a couple hundred pieces of paper. You've got to have a large it. spreadsheet of stuff to keep uh, an eye well, on. Oh, it's we, the Reynolds pamphlet. This is the Reynolds pamphlet. This is, this is a group of them that uh, Burr takes out there and right. throws up in the air. So this is a group of 20. Never gonna be president now. This is amazing. Oh, so you've used some Greek text in here, but the, it, it's like you've used an old parchment. It it's, feels they're like they're all the real parchment, thing. yep. How often do you have to replace these? You need a certain amount on stage every night, right? We have uh, 70 of these on stage a night. Actually a little over that, about 75. So part of your daily thing is making sure there's enough yep, to, there's to enough go out. there. We actually have them all there. And then also, um, these get changed out about once a month. Sometimes a little sooner. Just full stop changed out? Yeah. Just yeah. because they get worn. And yeah. Okay. Usually, a, definitely a paper change every month. Most of the time, some papers get changed out sooner than that. Now, I usually. used to work in props, uh, and I've wrangled them on set, and I've built them for shows. And one thing that astounded me is I've never not been as amazed by how much damage a small female actress can do to large welded steel props. Oh, absolutely. Like, if it can be broken... broken. The actors find some way, way to, to do break it. it. Yes. Do you have the true. same issues? I have the same issues. <laughs> One of our issues is these chairs over here behind the candle cart. Okay. Which we'll show you here. If you want to take a look at these chairs, one of these chairs has been repaired and one of them has not. Okay. Let's see. I, I actually, upon a cursory view, it's not totally obvious to me. 
this one feels a little lighter. Is that, is that the one that was repaired? This is actually the one that's been repaired. It actually split the leg. Whoa! Here. Okay, so you've got a join here in fiberglass to hold it together. Actually, this is Fiberfix. Fiberfix? What yeah. is that? It is a, uh, you know, they use it to fix shovel handles. An air dry fiber Yeah, you glass. get it wet and it has its own built-in resin. So what we did was we actually used the CA glue to run through the joint, right, right. run through the crack, yep. clamped it, and then we put this over it and paint it. That. And but, like, how does, who, how does somebody break that chair? I don't. <laughs> Don't know, but it was it came off broken. But now each of these, like these carts, I can see they've got um, uh, little they, they tabs for hitting the, their marks. They pin into the yeah. to this track actually right here, and that's oh. how they make it on stage. They're actually a train of them. They so get, this actually moves on a track. Yeah, oh. it's actually pushed out by a person and with the push stick. It actually pushes this train of four out. That's incredible. We have connecting bars that connect the two together so there's space in between them. And it just means that they can hit their mark that much faster, that much more reliably. Well, we can't actually because they go out on stage. Right, right. Oh, and okay. So you can't, you can't take them out there on your own. So you train them out and one person pulls them off. So everything is moving and sliding. And again, mm -hmm. I've seen yeah, the show. So what gets the most abuse during the course of the uh, night? Probably this blue box over here behind you. This is the the, the, the one this he stands the, on to the, the, stands the on Farmer and, Refuted, right? Uh, Farmer Refuted and Hamilton stands on it in my shot. Right. And so this one probably, because during my shot, it gets literally hurled upstage to the back wall. Okay, so I can night. see this getting abuse and it probably it gets, gets splinters. So you have oh to yeah, take care so of we that. have to uh, sand it, make sure the actors are safe. And, uh, and then it looks like a nice old box, which means that as the paint wears off, you have to repaint it, but somehow we do. match we it. We have to paint, repaint, redistress it. That's and, not uh, trivial, oh my God. Oh yeah. That simple box is, the, is, the, is your headache. It is, it is. <laughs> yep, and these boxes are actually, if you notice how light they are, because the actors actually have to carry it. Right, but it also but it has, has to, to be strong enough up. for to hold somebody. It's, uh, they're very unique. Uh, they're actually foam. <laughs> What's that? It's actually foam. It's actually foam on the inside. Yeah, it's a solid block, it's a block of urethane. Of foam. I see, so there's no compressibility. Yep, it's basically pink foam, and then they put a, make a plywood shell. That's super awesome. Yep, that's how they're so light, but yet you can stand on it. Okay, but what? Yep. If, so now I'm also thinking about the table that Burr stands on for room where it happened. Oh, that table, the mirror yeah. table. Yes. Yes, that is actually on the other side. We'll it, have to go. Can we go take a look? Actually, we should probably stop and look at the scepter if you want. Oh, along the way. Yeah, I want to look at the scepter. Since we're going that way. So this is the scepter, the king's oh. scepter. Oh. That is lovely. It is. It's, it's a really nice little swagger stick uh -huh. there. Yep. I could carry one of these, right? Just walk around. I think I could sell it. <laughs> um, is it the same scepter for each one of the yes. traveling we, shows? Of... We have a pair of these. This is the one that everybody uses. I see. Uh, but yeah, and all the shows have them. That's have a the lovely same one. piece. Does the actor get attached to it over time? Uh, I would imagine. I imagine so. <laughs> So this isn't just where it's stored in general. This is where it's stored during the show, am I mm -hmm. right? And we bring it down at intermission just like this and we unstack it and so a, and dress we dress both tables. We clean we clean the mirror table and dress it. I had no idea it was a mirror table mm -hmm. until I just looked up at the underside. And this is the one that burst stands on. That's the one burst that's room where it happens. Wow. I'm amazed that there are so many pieces you literally can't store them backstage. You have to fly them. Yeah, it's just easier just to hang them up because you want to take it off or you, yeah, we can. That is remarkably unscratched given that an actor stands on it every night. Uh, it actually has a tablecloth on it. Ah, okay. Let me grab the cloth. But he still stood, the, the tablecloth's removed during the yes. dance. He, and he literally does a bunny hop. They pull the... It surprises me every single yep. time I've seen the show. And then he jumps off of it. You can actually see the footprints from last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, so I can. Yep. Oh, he's wearing some soft-soled sneakers. Yep. Or not sneakers, but, but... Yeah, they're shoe rubber. And, yep. And that's the table. And this, this hasn't... This looks like it's in pretty original shape. Like, it doesn't look like you've had to repair it. No, we have not had to repair it. We had to do a little touch-up to it. We polish the mirror about once a month. And then, otherwise, every night we clean it. Amazing. 
Um, I'm noticing, yeah, I'm noticing tons of weaponry and swords we around. We have the three swords and we have lots of muskets. Oh, oh, right, 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 sorry. I'm to, uh, the dueling pistols. Can we see the dueling Absolutely. pistols? Absolutely. Let's go get the dueling okay. pistols. Okay. I can't believe I'm on the stage. It's so awesome. These are the pistols? These are the pistols. Oh. And the, the cool thing is on the, they have the lion on them. Yeah. Stop. Oh. Still trigger discipline, still ingrained. Wow, it's amazing to see them up close. I mean, it's such a key moment, right? Yep, they, they get used both for General Lee and for Hamilton. And They're these the must get system. these must get a lot of abuse over the. They course do. Of they get dropped on the floor every night. <gasps> really? Yep. They they look pretty good for getting dropped on the floor the every night. We we haven't really had to do any maintenance to them. They're, They're heavy, too. heavy, too. Yeah. They are. They're surprisingly heavy. I notice, uh, as we've covered uh, armaments in Hollywood films, that the actors prefer the foam weapons, but the directors like to give, give them heavy, heavy things. things. Yes. <laughs> and these are heavy. Yeah, no, there's definitely, like, you can see that when you're, right, you're yeah. holding it up, it's got some real heft mm -hmm. to it. If it was just a piece of foam, yep. you'd see that. Um, same way with the with our muskets. Same do you way. have more than two in stock? I have I have another one. I have right. a spare. So that you can yep. swap out if you need to. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my God, Mike! Thank you so much You're for welcome. letting me handle some of your toys. Oh, absolutely. That no is problem. really awesome. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> And there you have it. I can't believe I got to touch some of those props. You can still buy tickets to come see this show, and you should. It's playing at the Orpheum Theater. Tickets can be bought at broadwaysf.com. I'll see you here.